Oh my God. <laughs> Who's most likely to be the first one on the dance floor? There it is. Hi, I'm Lucy Boynton. Hi, I'm Will Poulter. And we're going to be playing a game of who's most likely to. Who's most likely to secretly be a detective? Oh man. <laughs> Honestly, neither of us from the way this is done. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I think the answer's neither. I am just inherently clumsier and like less smooth. Gun to my head, I feel like you've at least got a chance. Like you'd get through the first few, you know, rounds of interviews, whereas I'd fall over on the way into the first meeting. I'm actually not gonna argue with you on that one. <laughs> Thank you. Go okay, see. Who's most likely to binge watch a series? But didn't you binge watch a series quite recently? Dude, I've been watched so many series recently and I'm so ashamed to admit like how many. And in my defense, I was in quarantine in a hotel room on my own. So I watched Inventing Anna in its entirety in an embarrassingly short period of time, which I will not disclose. Who's most likely to be best friends with Emma Thompson? You. Well, I can't get, I can't get between mother and daughter. That's true. But in real life, I reckon you, you're just charming and poultry. So you. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's my answer. I, I, I think I'm too much of a nervous wreck to sort of actually formulate a sort of proper sentence around Emma Thompson. Yeah, I, I will say, well, but I beg to differ in the scene, and this was really cool for me. I was quite grateful that in that scene, I'm just kind of in it momentarily, and I just get to watch my friend Lucy be in a scene with Emma Thompson and Jim Broadbent. It was quite fun to sort of stand on the outside and look in. It was kind of like having a front row seat to like an amazing piece of, I don't know, like immersive theater. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's most likely to be the first one on the dance floor? When you think about, so we, there it is. Yeah, okay. Lucy, Lucy like absolutely nailed her uh, dance preparations. And supposedly we didn't get to the scene because you know, there wasn't time. I sort of suspect we didn't get to it because Lucy could do the dance and I couldn't. But um, yeah, when it comes to uh, dancing, Lucy B definitely uh, definitely takes it. I, I I literally can't. What what I lack in skill, I make up for in enthusiasm. So, <laughs> <laughs> Kristen Wiig in Bridesmaids has ruined my dancing career because she did that shoulder. She does this like ironic dance, which I have absorbed into my personality. And now that has become somehow my go-to and I'm ashamed of it. I can't <laughs> undo it. I can't unlearn it. And it's that. I can only, I think the most I manage is like a two-step, like the, the minimum amount of like movement possible. But now you've got a whole salsa routine in your back pocket. So you can whip that out on the next dance floor you're on. That is true. Can't do it with a partner because I'll break someone's feet. But yeah, it takes, it takes one to salsa. There you go. <laughs> Who's most likely to hog the mic at karaoke? It should be you, because you can <laughs> sing. I've heard you sing and you can sing. I'm a shower singer more than anything else. And again, karaoke, I can't imagine doing it sober. You had to sing in Evans and it was beautiful. We did do a little duet, yeah, that was fun. I used to oh, do I... shallows a lot. The Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper song, unfortunately oh. for everybody else. Shallows is a good shout. I like, to, to that point, I love me some Elton John. And I think um, Islands in the Stream, like, that would be that would be up there for me as far as like Elton John duets are concerned. Who's most likely to host a dinner party? You, you're the foodie. I mean, I think by foodie, you mean I just I eat a lot. I got the name. It's not an inventive nickname. I got the nickname Two Lunch Polter on this set. People were calling me Two really Lunch. Really original. Polter. Yeah, because I ate two lunches every day. Um, so I get. I, I, you know, I deserved it. Um, yeah, the only thing is, I do love my food and I love cooking, but I deal with <laughs> um, operating under pressure, time management and multitasking very, very badly. So that's like the biggest enemy to me actually being able to successfully host a dinner party. So I think if I if I did, I'd probably end up ordering in. But you, you know? could cook, you can. I have absolutely no culinary skills whatsoever. Really? No. I can make really dynamite scrambled eggs and banana pancakes that apparently only I find edible. 
and that's oh. and okay, a great carrot well, cake. I'll make dessert, but yeah, the rest is being ordered in. Sounds like you could host a killer brunch party. It's my least favorite thing to do is look at myself in the mirror. If I'm honest. Yeah, I find it easy to do in character. Frankie actually, was such a complete change. The hair dye, everything. It just, it felt, it was so nice to look in the mirror and feel completely disassociated from myself. It was actually mm -hmm. incredibly cathartic. I don't know how that, I don't know why I'm volunteering that as if the answer should be me. I don't want that. It's funny, like some, some of the clothing, you know, that era was a woolly era. They really loved them themselves some wool. And it wasn't always the comfiest or the most breathable, but like, the fashion like really grew on me, like the high-waisted trousers. I really, really like it. I hope some of that stuff comes comes back in. I know, because it's really disappointing and very anticlimactic to then change into your own clothes at the end of a filming day. After wearing these like, really beautifully tailored pieces and, and obviously as a costume, but I think that era as well, everything was such an ensemble and so beautifully put together and considered, especially because of Laura Smith, our costume designer. And to change into like a tracksuit at the end of the day, it was a, it was an, a humbling experience. Thanks for watching me and Lucy play Who's Most Likely To. Make sure you check out Why Didn't They Ask Evans on BritBox on the 14th.